What's up YouTube? What's up everyone? I'm back with another video and yes, this is the first video of 2024. I just wanted first of all, before I start this video, I wanted to thank everyone for 2023. It was an amazing journey, especially on YouTube. Like I think that really helped me to grow as a, as a content creator, but also as a person, you know, like I really explore a lot of my creativity, um, the ways I I express my opinions and many other things honestly and seriously like i just first of all i wanted to thank you so much for that amazing 2023 on youtube and also i wanted to wish you a happy 2024 i wish you all the best success health and you know like just i wish you a lot of joy that's the most important thing in life it's joy you know like love the things that you do and be surrounded by people that love what you do and also like people that share love because that's really important you know that that's what keeps us going but i could sit here and talk about what i did in 2023 or i could tell you what i'm gonna do in 2024 at least the first the first part of 2024 because i don't know what's gonna happen on december for example but at least i can tell you what's coming next and let's start with january and let's start with movies My first video of last year was my top 10 movies of 2022. And of course, this year, I want to put my top 10 movies of 2023. So currently, I'm working on that video and I really hope to be able to put it somewhere in January. I don't know where yet, but because I, I, there's still some movies that I didn't watch. Of course, I'm not going to watch everything, but there are some movies that I think they could crack my top 10. But that's one of the first projects I want to mention, you guys. My top 10 movies of 2023. It's coming. It's coming. Now for the second project I want to talk about. It's about a new section that I have in the, the Jason Entertainment and it's called Jason Entertainment Tournaments. And what is this about? What is this concept? What? Tournaments? What? So here basically what I'm doing it's you guys have been voted for a while now and by the way thank you so much like the the amount of votes it's incredible. I honestly thought I was going to have like I don't know 10 votes per poll and even that was like a lot for me but there was some polls like I had like more than 200 votes and that I'm just I'm just grateful seriously thank you so much which each of your votes that's why every vote counts so which each of your votes I will be gathering the 32 most voted movies of 2023 and how will this work so first of all we still have to complete some of them so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the FIFA World Cup format which means that you have eight groups of four movies based on the Rotten Tomato ranking and with that and every group you will have to save two movies out of four so that means two will will go and go to the round of 16 and the two others will be eliminated from the tournament and how will that work i will do a live stream with some other youtubers will where we will be debating on which movies should pass but also you have the chance to vote as well so this part i'm still deciding if it will be in the chat or i will put a community poll and you will vote there that i'm still trying to to figure that out that's one of the big projects i'm i'm trying to push forward and i don't know how it's gonna go but i really hope like i said it's gonna go well and especially we'll have fun that's the most important thing i hope we'll, we will have fun so the last big project i wanted to talk to you about i wanted to do a recap where I talk about the movies that are coming in 2024, like everything that's coming in 2024, or at least everything that's scheduled for now in 2024. And I did this previously with some other YouTubers and we, we talked about what were the movies that were coming for the rest of 2023. And this time I wanted to do the same thing, but of course, like there's a lot of months and I can't do that alone. So of course I had to gather a group of remarkable people to help me and make a beautiful video for you guys. All right guys, so before I go and pass to the next section, I actually have a guest who would love to talk to you about a little bit of his month. He's going to tease you a little bit, but I'm so excited to let you know who is, who is going to be part of this amazing collaboration. So guys, without further ado, I'm going to present to you Mr. Kenny Sparks. Hey, hey. What's up, Kenny Sparks? Hey, what's up, y'all? How's it going? What's up, Jason? Um, I'm good. Man. What's up? How are you doing, man? Doing great, man. Just like really excited to get started on talking about this very mysterious month <laughs> where we have biopics, we have superhero movies, we have yep. spy movies, we have all kinds of different, we even have like very good looking independent movies that are coming out that month. So I'm really excited to get into each and every movie that I'm interested in 
for this particular month. So just know that that month is a lovely month. All right. I like that. All right. Kenny, I can't say you enough. Thank you. Seriously, like every time you're in the channel, it's always nice to have you. And thank you so much, first of all, for trusting me for this collaboration. Absolutely. And would you like to tell something to, to everyone before we leave? Thank you so much for having me, Jason. I really appreciate you allowing me to be a part of this project. Uh, my channel is the Kenny Sparks channel where I'll be doing reviews for Mean Girls, which is coming up. I'll also be doing uh, I'll also be doing some different series like Meet the Movie Tubers in February, where I'll be doing all black movie tubers for the month of February. And then I'll be continuing or restarting my Auntie Movie Marathon uh, movie reviews uh, that I was doing last year. So. Really looking forward to that. You guys will see that on the channel sometime this month. So, yeah, Jason, one thing before we go. I yep. looked at your logo. I love your logo. I've been looking at it since I met you. And Thank I you. Noticed, <laughs> absolutely. And I noticed that there's game symbol, like a soccer ball. There's also a musical note. But there's also a piece of dice or two die, rather. What's the dice about? Damn. Okay. Yeah. So when I started my channel, I wanted to do movie reviews because I love movies. Absolutely. Uh, I wanted to talk about some games uh, because mm -hmm. I love games. But that's interesting that you're mentioning the dice one because the dice one. So basically, I love board games. Are you a fan of board games? Do you play some board games sometimes? Well, one thing that people may not know about me is that I have at least 10 to 15 different versions of Monopoly. I have Lion Whoa, King. Monopoly. Okay. I have Falcon and the Winter Soldier Monopoly. I have Black okay. Panther Monopoly. I have the classic Monopoly. I have I have Pizza Monopoly. I have all kinds of Monopoly. Wow. I also okay. have life and different types of games. So yeah, I'm big into board games. Oh really? I didn't know that. Wow. I didn't first of all, I didn't even know there was those sort of Monopoly games. Oh, there's and... Monopoly for everything. Oh yeah, I have Mandalorian Monopoly. Wow, hey, that's yeah. a nice collection, man. So the first board game I'm going to review is Exactly, guys. Exploding Kittens. Exploding Kittens? Have you ever played this? Yes, I love Exploding Kittens. I also have Imploding Kittens. I have oh, really? You have the other one? Yeah. I don't have that one. I don't. I just have Exploding Kittens. Do you agree that people should have this game? Absolutely. You can yeah, absolutely. Like, me and my wife, even without like the party and stuff like that, just me and my wife play it together. Exploding yeah. Kittens is amazing. So thank you so much, Kenny. I know you have a lot of stuff to do. Yours awesome, man. Thank you so much for this. Thank you so much for being on the channel. And I can't wait to, to do other stuff with you, man. Anytime, man. Thanks so much for having me. All right, football fans. First of all, oh my God, thank you so much to the African continent as well as the Asian continent. Two of my most uh, viewed videos on my channel are from the African predictions for the World Cup and the Asian predictions for the World Cup as well. So honestly, I can saying thank you is too little, but seriously, like you don't know how, how much joy it brought me. Thank you so much for your love, seriously. And with that said, we have two major tournaments of international teams coming up this month, next week, which one will be played in Ivory Coast or Côte d'Ivoire, and the other one will be played in Qatar. So I'm planning to predict both of those tournaments. And right now I'm working very, very hard and hopefully I can submit them before the, end, the tournament starts. So Africa, Asia, See you next week. So for the video game parts, I'm really excited for this. I did this again. It's another new project that I'm planning for 2024. And I can't wait for you to, to tell me what you will think about it and to hear me out about this. So I grew up playing a lot of video games. I really love video games. Video games are a part of my life as well. And there was some of those video games that are still part of my life today. You know, like I have so many great memories and I wanted to share that with you guys. So what I'm gonna do here, it's I'm going to open a new section about video games where I'm gonna be calling it the games that made me season one. So today I'm going to reveal to you which one will be the first game that I'm going to be talking about. Just, just before I reveal the game, just, I have to tell you that I'm more of a retro uh, gamer. So I really play PS1 games. PS2, Dreamcast, I love Dreamcast. At PSP, I did play some PSP games, GameCube, 
um, Game Boy. So with that said guys, let's reveal what is the first video game I'm going to talk about. guys soul caliber this is the first game i actually play like solo and that's why i can't start the games that made me without the first game i played in my life i can't wait to make my video where i will talk more in details about soul caliber uh, so yes wait 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 whoa, whoa. hey wait, wait 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 what's going on here wait 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 well sorry sorry everyone i think we have like kind of a bug wait no no wait, wait, wait. Whoa, 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 I don't want to reveal this yet, no, it's not for now, it's not for now. Oh my god, oh my god, even the theme is, is playing already, no, come on, come on. Whew. Sorry guys, that wasn't supposed to happen. Anyway, let's move on to the next subject, shall we? Lastly, I want to end with the anime section. Thank you so much for supporting my Naruto opening, my Bleach openings. Um, like I said, when I, when I was younger, growing up, I used to watch a lot of top openings are ranked and etc and i always wanted to do one of those things one day and like now being in the position that i am and doing it now it feels just surreal because i never thought i was going to be able to so this really feels nostalgic to me to go revisit those great openings that we watch but also like just creating them and seeing the response of uh, of you guys so thank you so much for that and with that said thank you so much for watching this video guys like i really hope you're gonna enjoy uh, 2024 in my channel i'm going to do my best to keep you entertained but also like to deliver you some videos that you will really enjoy so for everyone that stayed there is a surprise at the end of this video but for now i'm just you're gonna see anime fans i have a little surprise for you because we were talking about anime and I didn't talk too much about what i'm gonna do with anime projects with that said me i'm going to say goodbye to everyone happy new year to everyone and i'll see you in the next video take care peace everyone